I'm here in Accentio to share my experience as a content creator. And it's been amazing so far. Follow me. Hi everyone, such a pleasure to be here. For my day job, I sit in HR and I'm also leading engagement communications and recognition for island operations. When I'm not working, I go back to content creation and which I've transitioned over time. I started out making beauty content, then fashion content, then I transitioned into lifestyle and career. And I think I've evolved over the years and it's been an exciting journey for me. One that has helped me to understand me personally and to also define my own personal brand, blending what I do in my day job into what I do in my personal space. It's been exciting and it's been a journey of growth. And I'm really delighted to be in the midst of very cool people today. This journey has taught me so many skills and that journey actually brought me to Accentio. And I never knew I could do that, transitioning my personal interest, skills and experience into my day job. It's fantastic. This is what I do now. So if for any reason I don't work in Accentio anymore, I know that I can help people change their lives sincerely and that's where I see my career going and that was why I pursued HR moving from a master's degree in fashion buying and management into human resources. I just want to change lives. So, great here. Right, so I want to encourage you strongly. Don't defeat yourself by thinking you're not good enough. Don't shoot yourself in the foot thinking about what other people will think or what they will say about your goals, your dreams, your visions, your ideas. Instead, step out and go out in faith to keep working on those big dreams that you have in your heart. Everything you can think of, you can become. Okay, so, that's my quick video for today. I just want to say thank you very much for joining me as always. And I'll speak to you soon on the next one. Bye. All right, that's me in my element. So I do career and I do motivation. I think it's innate. I love to encourage people. I love to see the beauty in them and help them to maximize it. So I'm in the right career. <laughs> and Andrea, how did you get started? What made you take the leap? Sure, um, I've been creating content since 2013 mm. and I started out on YouTube. I like to share a little bit of story. So I've lived here in the Republic of Ireland for 18 years. And in, in that period, I've transitioned from work to be mom to teenage sons now. And I've experienced redundancy three times. So it was when I was working at Max and Spencer, my manager called me to come in the next day and we were all made redundant, no notice or anything. So I was issued a check of 2,857 because I was only there for a very short period of time. And I took all that money and I bought gadgets. It was Canon 700D 50mm 1.8. I started shooting videos that I started uh, learning how to edit and I just posted it on YouTube. Like I said, I started creating beauty content. Then I transitioned into fashion. Then people started asking me, you, you kind of motivate people. I left all that behind, deleted all my digital footprint. Then I transitioned into career motivation. I think I found my element. It's like, why do you do it? So entertaining people, to help people, is it to get likes? What is the why for you? Why do you do it? What do you get out of it that makes you bother if there's negative comments to keep hustling, doing it? MJ, I'll bring that to you. I think one of the reasons why I continue to put content online is because it has shaped me as an individual mm. and I feel like what I'm doing now will lead eventually to the future that I want. So storytelling in a different kind of way. I'm gently also using LinkedIn now to target the right uh, audience, emerging talents, women who have been out of work because I've been there, and immigrants. Those, those would be my three core uh, audience. Mm. So I feel like I continue to do it because it's going to mold my future. And like I said before, it helped me to learn this opportunity within Accenture because I've just lost my job in a previous company in the middle of a pandemic. 
And when I saw the job spec for this role I currently sit on, it was asking for specific skills which I acquired by just doing content online, communicating, writing. That's why I continue to do it. And I think like I can bring all this, whether I'm standing on the stage, speaking in World Health Organization, or and maybe coaching people. I think I can bring that skills to the future. Yeah. Back to the guys here. So obviously you've got day jobs. Um, first of all, what was the reaction like of your colleagues? Was it something you shared openly? Mm -hmm. um, MJ, what about you? Well, I, I guess for me, it was also very important in the kind of culture that I come into. When Iten reached out to say, Ashlyn said, oh, MJ, you create content. Yeah. I didn't officially say that I create content. And I was very mindful of it. As I said before, in my previous organization, I was just pulled aside to say, no, 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 that's not acceptable. But I was very intentional when I chose Accenture because I was looking for an organization where I can be authentic. So it was very important to me to be able to share my personal experience. This is a work I've done six years, seven years mm. before I joined this organization. Mm. I'm not just going to throw everything yeah, away yeah. like that. Yeah. The videos you saw were from 2019, 2020, mm. and I've only been here since 2021. Okay. So I truly thank you, Ten, for mm. recognizing mm. that this is a talent for me. Yeah. It's something that I've worked on over the years, mm. even though I don't say officially this is what I do, but I'm really thankful that I can bring my old yeah. self to work. So how, how do you manage the day job? Sunday is filming day for me. So early morning when I'm preparing to go to church, I just film maybe three, four videos on that same day. But the good news is I write my content first. So you're prepared? Yeah, before filming. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. So, and then you can also schedule them to go live. I'm not there, but yeah. people still get the content. Yeah, the question. I only publish like one video a month because of time and demands from work. But I still continue to yeah. do content because it's very fulfilling. And I have an audience who believes so much in me to help change their lives. So I guess planning and knowing what's important to you. Do you change your outfits then for each of the videos? <laughs> no, if you watch some of my videos, you see that I'm wearing the same uh, blouse for the whole four weeks. I don't care about the look, I just want to change lives. Yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> I'm into the juice now and I want yeah. honesty. What are the perks, apart from the followers? Are you getting free stuff? Come no. on, I want to know the perks. So people will know these guys, these winners, is there good stuff out there or do you have to be really famous with loads of followers? Like, tell me some of the perks. Actually, for me, initially when I was creating fashion and beauty content, yeah. I created a digital content for more than 100 brands from different parts of the world. So, and I got paid for that. Uh, that was like first five years of me blogging. So now that has changed, my interest has changed. I'm not really keen on those free things anymore. Yeah. I'm now keen on where does this take me as an individual? I can say humbly that I'm speaking next week at the University of Bedfordshire. Those are the kind of things that excite me. They're now. the perks for you. Exactly. Platform. Exactly. Engaging crowd. Exactly. Because okay. when my current manager saw my work on LinkedIn, she was happy to take, take me on board mm -hmm. and I like that. Yeah. So that is the pet for me part. at this moment. And I also have in my network, people have reached out to me, chartered accountants to say, MJ, do my CV and they land a 60,000 uh, euros job. Or my dear friend, Dr. Abby in the US transitioning into internal medicine to say, coach me, I want to pass this interview. And I did that. That's the pet for me. Okay. Obviously putting yourself out there, it's one, you're, you're making yourself be vulnerable. You probably need to be a lot more resilient. What are the downsides? Your employer could see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and that could be conflict of interest. Yeah. But I guess more importantly, to, to just take it like you are there for a reason. And I think for me, if I can say so, I, I'm more seasoned now. And I feel like from life experience, I can handle anything. Love it. I'm not there for you. Yeah. I'm there for the people who truly need yeah. me. So yeah. thank you to our amazing panelists, Ali and MJ, and thanks for everyone's contribution. Thank you so thank much. Thank you.